In 2026, ethical hacking won't be about who knows more commands. It will be about who knows how to control artificial intelligence better than everyone else. Right now, there are five AI tools being quietly discussed inside security circles. Most people don't understand them. Some people misuse them. And a few professionals are already using them to work faster, think sharper, and dominate assessments. These tools are not just assistants. They can plan attack paths, analyze vulnerabilities, understand human behavior, and even explain risks better than junior security analysts. But here's the dangerous part. One wrong move with these tools can end your career. In this video, I'm not here to hype anything. I'm here to explain what these AI systems actually do, why they matter, and how ethical hackers should approach them in 2026. By the end of this video, you'll understand why some security roles may disappear and why others will become more valuable than ever. If you are serious about ethical hacking, penetration testing, or cybersecurity as a career, watch this till the end, because the last tool we discuss changes everything. Quick heads up before we start. Beginning January, I'll be releasing some ethical hacking content that I can't upload publicly. I'll explain how to access it at the end of this video. So let's get into today's video. To understand why AI is dominating ethical hacking in 2026, you need to understand how the job itself has changed. Modern systems are too complex for manual testing alone. Cloud infrastructure, microservices, APIs, continuous deployment pipelines, and massive log data make traditional methods slow and incomplete. AI helps by processing huge amounts of information in seconds. It can correlate logs, identify patterns, and suggest attack paths that would take a human hours or days to notice. This does not mean AI magically finds vulnerabilities by itself. It means AI accelerates the thinking process. Ethical hacking today is about decision-making, prioritization, and understanding impact. AI is extremely good at assisting with those tasks. It can analyze thousands of configurations, scan code logic, and explain why a vulnerability exists instead of just flagging it. In 2026, companies care more about risk reduction than flashy exploits. AI fits perfectly into this mindset. It helps security teams focus on what actually matters instead of drowning in false positives. The professionals who succeed are those who know how to ask the right questions and guide AI correctly. Those who rely only on memory or scripts will struggle. AI is not replacing ethical hackers. It is replacing inefficient workflows and outdated habits. White Rabbit Neo represents the clean and professional side of AI and ethical hacking. It is designed with enterprise security, compliance, and defensive thinking in mind. This tool is not about bypassing systems recklessly. It is about understanding threats deeply and explaining them clearly. White Rabbit Neo is especially strong in areas like threat modeling, secure code review, and attack surface analysis. Instead of just saying something is vulnerable, it explains why the vulnerability exists, what assumptions were broken, and how an attacker might think about it. This makes it extremely valuable for blue teams auditors and consultants who need to communicate risk to management and developers. Another major strength is that it respects legal and ethical boundaries. That might sound boring to some people, but in the real world, this is exactly why companies trust it. White Rabbit Neo helps teams prepare defenses before attacks happen. It is the kind of AI that fits well in SOC environments and compliance-driven organizations. In 2026, Credibility matters more than shock value. White Rabbit Neo is not flashy, but it is reliable. For professionals who want long-term careers and real trust, this type of AI is a strong advantage. But not all AI tools are built this clean. 
Some are built to think like attackers. Worm GPT is often described as aggressive or dangerous, and that reputation exists for a reason. This AI is built to simulate how attackers think without the heavy filtering found in mainstream tools. From a defensive and research perspective, this can be extremely valuable. Security teams need to understand how real attackers plan, adapt, and exploit weaknesses. Worm GPT helps model that mindset. However, this is also where responsibility becomes critical. Tools like this must only be used in controlled environments, labs, and authorized red team simulations. The purpose is to learn how attackers operate so defenses can be improved. In 2026, ethical hacking is not about pretending attackers are polite. It is about realism. Worm GPT provides that realism, but realism without discipline is dangerous. Professionals who use such tools must understand scope, legality, and consequences. Used correctly, Worm GPT helps sharpen threat modeling and defensive strategies. Used incorrectly, it destroys careers. The tool itself is not the problem. The mindset of the user is. In professional cybersecurity, intelligence must always be paired with restraint. And now let me show you the AI that might replace junior pen testers entirely. Pentest GPT represents the future of structured penetration testing. It is not chaotic and it is not experimental. It follows methodology. This AI helps guide penetration tests step by step based on scope, rules of engagement, and objectives. It assists with reconnaissance planning, attack path logic, and documentation. One of its biggest strengths is reporting. Many penetration testers struggle not with finding issues, but with explaining them clearly. Pen Test GPT helps convert technical findings into understandable risk statements and remediation guidance. In 2026, this matters more than ever. Clients want clarity, not jargon. Another reality is that Pen Test GPT will replace low skill roles that only follow checklists without understanding. This is not a threat, it is a signal. Professionals must focus on reasoning, creativity, and context. Pen Test GPT is a tool, not a replacement for thinking. Those who learn to use it properly will move faster and deliver higher quality work. Those who resist change will be left behind. This is the direction the industry is moving. Whether people like it or not, Bug Hunter GPT is built around one key idea. Impact matters more than volume. In bug bounty and real-world security, finding one meaningful vulnerability is better than finding 10 low-impact issues. This AI focuses on logic flaws, edge cases, and real abuse scenarios. It helps security researchers think beyond scanners and surface-level findings. Bug Hunter GPT encourages a mindset where the question is not, is this vulnerable? But how can this be abused in a real scenario? This shift in thinking is critical in 2026. Organizations are tired of noise. They want results. Bug Hunter GPT helps identify vulnerabilities that actually matter to business risk. It is especially useful for understanding how systems interact and where assumptions fail. However, it still requires human judgment. AI can suggest ideas, but humans must validate and test them responsibly. Bug Hunter GPT is not about shortcuts. It is about sharpening intuition. For those who want to grow beyond basic scanning and into serious security research, this type of AI is a powerful assistant. Fraud GPT focuses on an area many technical professionals underestimate, human behavior. Not all attacks are purely technical. 
Many successful breaches involve manipulation, trust, and psychology. Fraud GPT analyzes patterns related to fraud detection, abnormal behavior, and social engineering techniques. From an ethical standpoint, this AI is best used for prevention, training, and red team simulations. It helps organizations understand how people are targeted and where processes fail. In 2026, cybersecurity is as much about people as it is about systems. Fraud GPT highlights that reality. However, this tool sits on a very thin ethical line. Understanding manipulation is necessary to prevent it, but misuse is unacceptable. Professionals using such AI must be very clear about intent and scope. When used correctly, Fraud GPT strengthens defenses and awareness. When used irresponsibly, it becomes harmful. This dual nature makes it one of the most powerful and sensitive AI tools in cybersecurity today. The biggest misunderstanding about AI and ethical hacking is the fear of replacement. AI will not replace skilled professionals. It will replace lazy habits, shallow knowledge, and outdated workflows. In 2026, the most valuable ethical hackers are those who can think critically, guide AI intelligently, and understand context deeply. AI is a force multiplier, not a brain substitute. The professionals who succeed will be those who treat AI as a partner, not a shortcut. Legal boundaries, ethics, and reputation matter more than ever. One mistake can follow you forever. If you are serious about cybersecurity, focus on fundamentals, reasoning, and responsibility. Tools will change, principles will not. Ethical hacking is still about protecting systems, people, and trust. AI simply changes how fast and how far we can do that. The future belongs to those who adapt wisely. Before ending this video, one important update. I've opened channel memberships on Electronic Tech Show with two levels, Basic and Pro. Basic members get loyalty badges, early access to new videos, and members-only live chats where you can directly ask questions. But Pro membership is different. Starting January, I'll be uploading exclusive ethical hacking videos only for Pro members. Advanced, sensitive, and high-impact content that I cannot upload publicly. These videos won't be shared for free, explained in comments, or repeated anywhere else. Free content has limits. Pro doesn't. If you're serious about ethical hacking and want access to the real side, not the YouTube safe version, Pro membership is the only way. December's ending. Join Pro now to get access from day one in January. Pinned comment has the membership link. Join before January. So that's it for today's video. If you learned something new, like subscribe and stay sharp. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.